Yeah. So the next story we have is a lot more fun. It's about how Lego is revealing their first ever bricks made from recycled plastic bottles. So here is a kind of a batch. They're doing testing, right? They need to make sure that it meets the Lego certification for like strength and durability, safety, right? Plastic is a funny thing. Uh, you've got some really dangerous forms of plastic and then more like, you know, human potable water safe plastics. There's a whole gamut of it. So um, this is different than this initiative they had back uh, starting in 2015, where they were making uh, Lego bricks from things like sugarcane. And those are kind of bioplastics that also worked to some degree. But there's probably a little bit of a limitation in terms of strength and durability of the brick itself. And so this is purely recycling old plastic, um, PET plastic discarded bottles. So I think this picture kind of sums it up pretty well. This is a great yeah. uh, marketing picture, but this is truly recycled plastic. This is plastic that would end up somewhere bad and not do any good for anybody that they are recycling. We need this desperately because there's currently, there's no incentive to recycle plastic. If you ever had a recycle bin and you've been putting plastic water bottles in there, and feeling good about yourself. I have some bad news. Yeah. There's really, it's so cheap to make plastic that recycling plastic in any form is, 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 is just not done. For a long time, China was buying our plastic and doing who knows what with it, but they're not doing that anymore. So plastic recycling is kind of a um, <laughs> dark and depressing reality <laughs> that a lot of people don't realize. But what we need is companies who make products like Legos that are beloved, who could afford the extra N cents per gram of plastic to go over the recycled route? And then they start bragging about, you know, these are made from recycled parts. Other companies realize, like, look how much more money they're making because they're eco-friendly. And we need to spur, like, an industry to, to catch on to this concept. And until then, um, we're going to be in the same mess that we're in. So kudos to Legos. I love what they're doing. And Matt and I agreed that I'm going to, after this show, I'm going to have to buy this uh, – West yeah. is a uh, wind turbine kit from Legos, which seems freaking cool. Yeah, it's motorized. The whole wind turbine turns and everything. It's really, really neat. I, my, my take on this story was just, we desperately need this. And I love how you hit on the, it's the chicken or the egg problem. It's like, sometimes it's like, you kind of have to, somebody has to basically break the ice. It's like right now, there's no, there's no financial incentive to really go after recycling plastics because the money isn't there. But as soon as enough companies go at it in volume, it can create a little industry within there where there's actually ways to make money from recycled plastics, which means more people start collecting it and reusing it and getting it out of the landfills, keeping it away from the oceans. It's like a great way to move this forward. And the fact that Lego is trying to do this, they're just kind of planting their flag in the sand and saying, this is what we're going to do. It's great. Um, it's interesting how long it's taken them to get here. It's like all the different variations they had to go through. It's like, 250 variations to test this it's just kind of insane and there's one video interview i watched of them talking about it and he said the new ones they don't lock as tightly as they want yet like there's a, it feels different to lock and so they're still working on that it's like the little nuances that they have to think about and then the other side of it is they haven't figured out how to color them yet the, the pictures that you showed of like just that kind of off-white color right. yeah it's like they haven't figured out how to dye them yet to make those vibrant colors that we know and are familiar with. It's like, so that's like the next thing they have to tackle. So it's still a couple years away before we start seeing these out in the wild, but it's it's awesome that they're they're going there. But it also got me wondering about like, there's other ways to make plastics too. Like there's algae, because you can use algae oils instead of petroleum to actually make plastics that then also can be broken down again. It's like, I'm curious if they've looked at those as well. Somebody, some YouTuber should make a video about, <laughs> like, if there's an organic way that we could grow plastic. <laughs> yeah. Someone should do that. Oh, yeah, Matt Farrell should, has done that. Somebody should think of that. Yeah. <laughs> Check out Matt Farrell's channel. He has one, the most, one of the most amazing videos you'll see about how we could use mycelium fungi for creating plastic. Pretty yeah. amazing stuff. It's cool uh, stuff. Really quickly, uh, Mark Dill, uh, Denlinger says, I bought water bottle holders for my bike. That are made from recycled fishnet. So that's oh, that's neat. Cool. That's a fan. Fishnet is like the biggest defender of 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 our oceans. Like it is by far the worst thing. So that's really cool. Yeah, we mentioned. Right, I was watching a video where they talked about how the first solid state batteries will go into like million dollar supercars, like supercar EVs, because 
if the battery cost is absorbent, it, it'll be it'll be a wash in the high cost of the car overall. It's not going to go into an economy car. I think of it the same way. Um, we're, we're not going to have companies that make super cheap plastic water bottles be the first in line to to be all about recycling and stuff. It'll be companies where it's a toy that they sell for fifty dollars, or if the 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 unit price for plastic went from eighty eight cents to a dollar fifty, who cares? That you can easily eat that in the fifty dollar product itself. So, I think um, I think more people will will uh, will will follow suit in that higher end category of plastic toys and things like that. And we just got a super chat from Mark. So thank you very much, Mark. Uh, he said, the off-white Legos, more castle sets it is. No dyes needed. It's like, very true. <laughs> I, love the, I love the spirit. That's exactly right. Yeah. Uh, another super chat from Robert Clauco. Thank you so much, Robert. Um, Robert says, a little late, but I still made it. I think Robert was one of the guys who is able to make it now with our new time. So good to see you, Robert. Thank you. Great. Okay, so you ready for the, the next story? <laughs> Uh, this is <laughs> so uh che yoon says does it pass the legos to foot pain index <laughs> this is real i can yes. tell you for a fact so lego <laughs> if you want to drop a couple in my son's uh, bedroom at night i'll i'll v- validate the the pain threshold and make sure it's in tolerance with lego's current products <laughs> <laughs> i love it oh boy <laughs> 